Okay guys, welcome back to another video. This is uh, some footage of a recent hunt that I was on. Uh, morning flight, waiting for some pink feet geese to come in. These, this is very close to my uh, house and I was on my own. About two dozen pink foot decoys out in front of me and I've got this uh, hide set up under a, under a tree in a hedgerow to try and conceal myself and what what happens in the morning in, in this particular location is that the pink feet geese come in and they land on a flash about four or five fields away and then they, they get up after they sort of all congregate to move to where they're going to go and, and uh, graze for the day and uh, so I was trying to call them in to me and uh, out of the right hand side um, uh, a random single grey lag goose just appears from nowhere and uh, it's just coming straight into the decoys and a uh, nice easy shot about 40 yards and the, the, 10, the 10 gauge there does a, a brilliant brilliant job absolutely smashes it and takes it down dead dead before it hits the ground so the next clip is a, a little later in the morning. Um, most of the pinks have, have, have flown in, they've landed in the, the, the flash or, uh, about four or five fields away and now they've lifted off looking for their grazing for the day and so I'm giving it, I'm giving it uh, quite, a, quite a bit of enthusiasm on, on the old pink foot call, trying to call them towards me. A few squawks. Uh, I'm still still not the best on the call, but anyway, the the the, the skeins of pink feet react and they come straight into me. And it, it was just you know there must have been a, a, a few thousand uh, sort of overhead coming into the decoys, um, flying all around me. So I'm just uh, grabbing the 10 there, just getting ready to go. Because I can see them through the camouflage netting. It's a bit hard from the from the GoPro footage, but you'll, you'll see them starting to come in. And you can really hear the chatter of the pink feet. And it's just so exciting when you when you hear that wink wink and, and there's just thousands of them and they're coming in and, uh, and they're committed. There's a few that land in front of me. I don't really see them um, and then there's a whole bunch coming over over the top of me, so uh, I select my goose and I give it both barrels and nothing really happens and I'm surprised because those geese weren't really far away despite the the footage, the, the GoPro footage with wide angle lens and uh, I couldn't believe it, I, I, I missed it that range but uh, there was a delayed delayed reaction I actually hit the goose that I was aiming at and uh, it actually just drops out uh, it, it expires mid-air and drops and hits the ground about 90 to 100 yards away from the from the hide so it was a good shot and um, it was just really really delayed um, the pellet uh, no pellets at the wing but uh, a triple B um, went right through the right through the chest cavity and uh, and it was just a delayed reaction to the to the goose falling. So we're just going to pick up that goose now, and uh, you can kind of see the the environment that I'm shooting over here. The the geese at this time of year are quite like the grass fields, and I've got sort of two. I've got about a dozen decoys either side, and a big space in the middle, just to try and attract them into land. And a few did land in that nice big space in the middle. So the goose did land quite a quite a distance away. As I say, it was it was dead in the air. Um, it, it didn't move. It just where it where it hit the ground. That's uh, that's where it was, and uh, quite a delayed reaction. But you can see that bush in the in the right in the corner of a really dark one. I'm straight in the middle of a the frame there. That's where the hide is underneath that uh, tree, and. Uh, 
that was that was the morning's hunt. Only only two, but that doesn't matter. Um, nice freezer filler. Nice morning to be out, especially with all the restrictions. Thanks a lot, and then hope you enjoy the video.